Right, today is day one of the Bridesmaid Diaries. I'm with my sister, this is Natalie. Hi. She is getting married in Spain in June 2024. So we're starting the whole planning process and all the bridesmaid fun. Um, today we're going up to brunch and then we're going to be trying on wedding dresses for Nat. So, uh, yeah, we'll give some tips, we'll do a little interview. It's going to be fun. We actually started off the day by hitting the Bloomsbury Hotel in London. I was taking my sister here for a gorgeous brunch at Dalloway Terrace, which if you haven't heard of guys, you need to check it out. It is so aesthetically gorgeous and they style the space depending on the season. I mean, just look at that. They still had kind of their winter vibes going on and it was stunning. The food was absolutely out of this world. We had like a two, three course brunch. We were absolutely full, which is not the thing to do before a dress fitting, but we had a great time anyway. Before heading over to the dress fitting, we may have stopped by the shops just really quickly, cause you know, girls love Zara. And my sister found this gorgeous little pearl handbag. The girl is pearl obsessed. So she got it for her hen do and possibly the wedding day as well, which is exciting. We then head over to the dress fitting itself. It was in this really cool building and we had a huge range of dresses to look at, but they get you to pre-select online and they put them all aside for you. But we did get the lady to pull a wild card or two as well. I'm not gonna show you the dress. So we have just come out of uh, Natalie's second bridal boutique visit. And I think one piece of advice that we would give you guys, Natalie, I'm sure you agree. Make sure you go with the wild card. Go in, decide what you want to try on, have some options, and then let your stylist give you a wild card or two because they know what they're doing. Did we like the, the wild card now? They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing because, well, I got a bit emotional. Um, yeah, the wild card can always be the winner. So definitely do that. Remember, wear the right underwear, nude underwear, without, you know, you don't want VPL and all that jazz. Think about that. Take your shoes with you if you've got them or something that's gonna be of a similar height. Um, yeah, those are the tips, aren't they, Nat? Would you say anything else that you prepped for that you think would be useful? Don't go for brunch before you try on wedding dresses because <laughs> croque monsieur in the belly not the one <laughs> it's a true story definitely do it the other way around anyway amazing experience i'm not sure when i'm going to share this video because obviously it's got dresses in it and um that's a surprise but these tips are definitely going to be useful so we're now going to go for wine to celebrate you can share the non-goers we'll share the non-goers there we go um yeah hey team so it is friday evening it is the end of March. I am looking very shiny this evening. I have just had a lovely bath and <clears throat> absolutely covered myself in retinol. Hence the shiny naked face, but you know, we're in a roar over here. Um, tomorrow is dress three, not dress three, bridal shop three experience as such. So, obviously did the first um, dress trials for my sister, for Natalie, in London. No, we didn't. So we obviously did the second trials in London, which is the first lot of kind of footage that we got. But we didn't film the first ones because you're not allowed to take any photos or anything inside the first boutique that we went to. Um, and hadn't decided to document it at that stage. To be honest, I think Nat just got super excited and was like, I'm wiggling the camera everywhere. I'm sitting in a rocking chair, which doesn't help. Um, she got super excited and was literally like, I need to go and try this particular dress on, which I think is still probably the number one contender. But anyway, so this is technically the third place we're going to. So we're going to Halo and Wren. We are taking Sally Mo, AKA the mother aka our mum um so she's coming with us as well so girls trip 
all going along tomorrow. So just me, my mum and my sister, and we're gonna go and try on some dresses tomorrow. Now there's one there in particular. The reason we're going to this boutique is because there is a dress there that Natalie has seen and she's desperate to try on. But if we've learned anything, it's to let them pick a wild card in the boutique as well. So anyway, I'll stop boring you. This isn't the best, best footage, is it? Um, and I will pick up tomorrow when I'm with the rest of the team and we'll document us all going to this new boutique and, and kind of what we learned from the experience. So come along tomorrow. Hey guys, here we are just on the way to Halo and Wren. So we are, this is the third place that Nat is trying on dresses today. <laughs> How are you feeling today, Nat? Yeah. yeah, now what, what did we learn? last time that we hated everything <laughs> we literally had like we went full circle didn't we thought that we potentially found it looked back at all the pictures and then actually you weren't feeling it were you we definitely learned to let the boutique owner pull a wild card because it's definitely good to just try something completely different to what you thought From the moment we literally stepped in the Halo and Wren store, it was just the most wonderful experience. The team was so knowledgeable in all the different dresses, the styles, how could they, they how they can work best for your wedding, whether it's destination, whether it's at home. They really gave you everything. And just the whole experience was amazing. So even though at this point they actually had three different brides in, you didn't feel that you didn't have their attention. They had a different person for each bride. You had coloured pegs that you could go and peg on the dresses for the ones that you wanted to try, which was really great because my sister actually gave me, my mum and her friend Sasha, a peg each so we could go and choose something that we thought would suit my sister as well which I think is a really fun idea and also great because it just makes her try something completely different that she might not have chosen and then even when you have your appointment you go into a private space so you don't feel like there's anyone else in the store and it's so beautifully designed and kitted out it really was a great experience and I would highly recommend and my sister found the dress she found the one so guys exciting was that we literally it took three boutiques which for some might seem which for some might seem quite a lot and for others might seem much at all but she just absolutely nailed it when we went to the third boutique they just had the style that she was after the team were just amazing and i think that makes such a difference they were intuitive they were they just had such a lovely vibe and energy as well and they were able to see the stuff that Nat was trying on and from what she was saying, they were using their knowledge of all the dresses that they had in stock and all the designers they have. And they pulled a couple at the end that were like, okay, I know that you're loving this, but you're not quite there. What about this? I've got one for you. And, and that was the winner. The wild card was the winner. Nat's gone ahead. She's found her dress and it is just, I feel emotional. It's beautiful. She looks incredible. So tips for you guys, the experience, make sure you make it fun, make a thing of it. I mean, don't go for a three course brunch beforehand. We kind of knew that that was doofus, but we also knew that we probably weren't going to find it in the second store. So we were having a nice day out, trying the dresses, but they just didn't really have what Nat was looking for. And we kind of went full circle, got sucked in a little bit to like, yeah, no, these are really cool. But actually, no, they weren't what she wanted in the end. But definitely make a thing of it. Find your tribe. Don't take too many people with you to the fitting, but take the people that count so that you've got somebody to give you honest opinions. You don't want to feel hurt 
but you want to have the people around you that you know will cheer you on, will tell you when you look amazing, but also be honest, not in hurting your feelings, but just honest when it's not quite as good as another one and that love you. And I think my sister definitely had that at her fittings and that was amazing. And the last one, I'm so pleased she found the dress on the last one because that's when we were all there together, which was amazing. So definitely do that. Also, on the third fitting, my sister had fake tan, she did her hair, she did all the fake things. So then she just felt way more confident in herself because she knows that that's more likely going to be how she's going to look for the wedding because she wants to do those things prior to the wedding. And she just felt better in herself. That doesn't mean to say that you need to do that, but consider that because you... <laughs> As women, we scrutinise ourselves in situations like this and it's horrible. And some of you might be feeling daunted about the whole scenario. So if there's little things that are going to make you feel more confident in yourself, then do them. There's no shame in that whatsoever. Nobody's going to judge you. And Nat felt great doing that. And I think that added to the experience. As I mentioned in the video, remember underwear, that's really important. Take your shoes with you if you can, because again, that's gonna give you an idea of height and just how it's all going to look. And then if you're thinking of trying a veil on, try a veil on, make sure you do it. If you are thinking of wearing a headband, take one with you or borrow one of them. Try and get a real good idea of what you're going to look like. If you're having your hair up, tie your hair up. If you're having it down, have it down, style it. It just gives you the real, a really good picture of what it could look like and will help you kind of decide whether it's a winner or whether it's not. So I hope you found this video helpful guys. I loved creating it. I'm really loving doing these bridesmaid diaries. There's more to come so definitely keep keep watching and stay tuned and yeah I guess we're following the journey of Nat and, and her getting married next year which is really exciting. Me being a maid of honour so I'm just completely on the other side of things now which, which, is, ex which is exciting because I'm seeing it more from maybe some of your perspective which is great. Anyway guys, have an amazing week and I will be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness.